Right, Kiamon, and welcome back to the Joe Hall YouTube channel, where today we have a bit of a different video. Obviously, I'm a Birmingham City fan, so we're going to be talking about why this year is Birmingham City's best chances at promotion. But before we get into that, remember, if you haven't already, like and comment on the video. It does me a massive favour, and also, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit a 1,000. But yeah, let's get into it. It's a bit ironic this, you know, the one video I make about Birmingham City and I'm not wearing a blue top, wearing a Dortmund top. But I, I can confirm I am a Birmingham City fan. And I honestly do believe this year it's our best chances at promotion in the past probably 10 years. And I can see the comments already. Oh, but Blues fans say this every year. Blues fans always say they're getting promoted. I don't. I really don't. I'm really negative when it comes to Blues. I... I automatically think the worst, which again, people get on to me for, but it's because I care about the club. I care about the club, so I automatically fear for the worst at all times. But this is the one season where I've actually been confident we can do summer. And I think to be fair, there's quite a few reasons why we could do summer. And that's hopefully what I'm gonna address and convince you to believe in this video. So let's get started with reason number one, the transfers. Blues have been so active this transfer window. It's ridiculous and very surprising as well. You know, you look at the transfers we've made, they're good, they're progressive, and they're exactly what we need. Just getting it started with our most recent signing, Troy Deeney. What a signing. You know, people will say, oh, he's past it, he's this, he's that. He's a good player and he's proven in the championship. He, he'll score goals. And he'll create chances for other players to score goals. He's a good player and he's exactly what we need. And we're going to love him no matter what because he's a Blues fan. So up next, and I'd argue probably the second best behind Troy Deeney signing this summer, Taith Chong. What a player. Chong is just, he's so good. It's unreal. Look, he is a magician on the ball. He is that good. When he first joined and we first learned him in, I had people saying, oh, he's not that good. He's really not great. He's this, he's washed. You know, he's a failed youngster. Look, he's proven since then he's not. He's had two Man of the Match worthy performances and been in two EFL Team of the Weeks. Bear in mind, I think it's four games he's played. He's got a 50% Team of the Week record. And not to mention the, the chances he's created. He's one of the most creative players on that pitch at all times. When you see that link up of Chong and Dini, oh, it's going to be tasty. It will be tasty. Now the next signing that I want to talk about, Dion Sanderson. Now Sanderson, as well as Chong, both only loans. But Sanderson, again, what we need. He might not be starting. He might not start all the games this season. But his depth is what he is. And he will start a few games and he will play a few games. You know, we need that rotation with how reliant we are on the defence. So not only will that be good for his career because he's not going to get game time at Wolves, but it'll be good for us as well because we now have that depth at centre-back. Not to mention as well he's solid, you know. He, he's just came back from injury. He's been training with the under-23s and he's looked good. And now the man who really has impressed me so far for Blues, Ryan Woods. Again, what a man. I was told, again, like Chong before he joined, oh, he's not that special. He's nothing great. He's, he's, that. he's been phenomenal in every match he's played for us. Very solid defensively and can whip in a good ball, I'll tell you that. And he plays creative passes, which is exactly what we want. And there have been other signings like Sarkic and Nike, etc. And they're good signings, but you know, I don't even have to talk about them because of the other amazing signings we've made. Now, reason number two, the fans. Now, you might think, oh, where's he going with this one? But I tell you what, the fans so heavily impact how Blues play. It is ridiculous. Watch us play a game from last season without fans and then watch us play this season with fans. And our stadium's half full. You have to bear that in mind as well. Half the stadium is closed and we're still, like... You, you can hear the fans like it's a full stadium. Blues have one of the most underrated fan bases known to man because the home fans are loud, we cheer on the team, it's great. And the away fans are some of the best in the country. That is like fact. Fans love the players, the players love the fans and the players play better when the fans are there. You see it firsthand. Now reason number three, our manager, Lee Bowyer. Again, Bowyer another one. Again, I had Charlton fans saying, oh, he's not that good. He's not a good manager. He's this, he's that. He is. I'm sorry, he is. 
but at least for Blues he is. He knows the club like the back of his hand. I wouldn't quite call him a Birmingham City legend, but the only trophy he ever won in his entire career was at Birmingham City. He knows the club, he knows the people who are working with the club, it, it helps massively. And he can connect with the fans as well, because again, the fans love him, he's played in front of these fans, and won a trophy in front of these fans, they already love him. And he's getting the team playing as well, that's another thing. We're playing some really attractive football, it might only be 1-0 wins at times, but it, it, we're playing attractive football, we're dominating the ball, we're creating good chances and we're making nice passes, which I won't complain about. Up next, we have the board. Now, something that a lot of Blues fans are going to get onto me about, the board's not that bad right now. In regards to the team, in regards to everything else, shambles, but in regards to the team, it's going all good. You know, we've had a really successful transfer window. We've been able to bring in players we've actually wanted and the managers wanted. And the board have been more open and upfront about situations going on at the club. Obviously the situation with the stadium is a disgrace and needs fixing, but you know, you can't do anything about that now. But you know, if the board are allowing us to buy these players and they're putting money into the club, I'm not gonna complain. And they're trusting the manager, which is something we really haven't seen. And I think, you know, a reason for this, CEO is out. Juan Ren Dong or Juan Dong Ren, whichever way you say it, he's gone, thank God. And Craig Gardner has almost kind of took over that role of now he's upstairs in the boardroom. He's going back and forth between the manager and the board and making it clear who wants what. Whereas before, we've seen it multiple times where Dong was blocking that. You know, we had it with Gary Rowett before when we were on a good run with him. You know, he was sacked and it was because of Dong, because Dong wanted to bring in Gianfranco Zola. Whereas now, instead of being ran as, you know, a cash cow almost, even though we weren't even making that much, we were being used to make money. Now we're being ran like a football club and how a football club should be ran. I'm not gonna say the board and the owners are the best, but while things are going good, I'm also not gonna complain. I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me. I genuinely think though, we will see a different blues this year. We've already seen it. We beat Luton Town 5-0, a team that finished above us last season. So, you know, a good result. In regards to the table, I think Fulham will finish first, Albion will finish second. But I think Blues are definitely now a shout for playoffs along with QPR. We are the dark horses of the championship this year. If you wanted a smart bet from me, bet on QPR and Birmingham City to do well because we both have really good teams. We both had good summers and no one's talking about us. That's the thing. But lads, that is going to do it for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment as well and let me know what you think. And subscribe with post notifications on so you never miss a video. Thank you and goodbye.